Hello and thank you for installing Ultravideo version 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the extension properly, um, show you everything it offers, and try to describe, you know, the best I can every feature it contains. Um, once you install the extension, you'll be greeted with this onboarding guide. I highly recommend you to read it in case you're updating from previous versions. Uh, you can always click on the extension uh, icon to open the interface and click on this tiny question mark in the right top corner. And it's going to show you the exact same thing. Now, uh, first thing that I highly recommend uh, is that you pin the extension in your browser. This, is, this guide is only for Chromium browsers. So if you're Firefox users, you'll need to find another video that I'm, that I'm gonna also record. But for Chromium users, it's almost identical in every browser. So pin the icon on this, uh, pin the extension using this icon here, and it's gonna show up right here with probably a, the rest of your extensions that you have pinned. But now it provides you with easy access. Whenever you need it, you can just go here. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is where to configure shortcuts. Uh, you're going to right click on the extension, click on manage extension. And then on the left sidebar, you're going to find keyboard shortcuts. And here you can configure all of the shortcuts to whatever you like, or in case that some of the shortcuts are showing as not set like this, it means it has conflicts with some other extensions you have installed. So you need to pre-configure them to something else or find that extension it uses the shortcuts that Ultravideo is using and remove it from there or try to configure it to something else and then reconfigure it on the Ultravideo itself. So at the moment, I'm just gonna revert it back to what it was. It was this. And this is a, uh, these are shortcuts for macOS. If you're on Windows, it's going to be different like this that you see on my screen and it's the same thing if it's if it shows not set it has conflicts with some other extensions i found that these are shortcuts are best um, working with all of the browsers like firefox as well and if you're on linux um, then please tell me if these shortcuts are not working for you because they will be identical identical as on windows os so please let me know, like, if they don't work, what's the best uh, configuration for Linux, because I would want to implement that uh, for everybody. And let's go back now. I'm going to show you something that the new version provides, which is uh, dark mode. As you can see, it's currently in dark. But if I change it to light, uh, the whole appearance is going to change. It's a small feature that I think it will be very useful for everybody. So now I'm going to show you how it works in action. I have uh, prepared here a YouTube video and I'm going to reload the page just because I'm not sure if I uh, installed the extension before or after opening this video. It's very important that you reload all of the tabs where you want to use the extension past the installation or quit your browser and reopen it to make sure that it can load on those web pages. So I'm going to reload it and I'm going to put the video in full screen. So the extension only works in full screen mode. You cannot remove black bars in inline players. If it's not full screen, it's not going to work. So right now I'm going to press the shortcut for mode changing on macOS Control Command Z. And you can see a small banner that shows us the currently active mode. And I'm going to also use uh, the command control X to pause the extension. And you can see that it reverted the video to like not using the extension at all. So I can also toggle it back on with the shortcuts now. And the extension comes uh, with the default of upscale mode uh, because I think that's working the best in most cases. And you can see here normal mode is like if we pause the activity, but it's only for macOS and only for this specific video. Uh, the, <clears throat> the normal mode is uh, mostly for Android users because you're gonna normalize the video aspect ratio in many platforms. That's what the users provided me 
uh, you know, with uh, I got some feedback. So that's what they told me, and I believe it's what it does. Um, and upscale mode is going to upscale the video to fit your entire screen with no black bars anywhere. And the stretch mode is going to do the same, except that it's not going to crop any content. It's going to shrink the video on X or Y axis, depending on the video aspect ratio and your screen resolution. So you're going to have a little distorted video, or if your monitor is too large, it's going to be very distorted and like stretched. So that's what it does, basically by the name. Um, also, uh, just I forgot to mention, you see here this small dot on the banner. Please look at it while, while you're using the extension because as you can see now I'm changing modes but nothing happens. That's because I disabled the activity, hence it shows that little red dot in the corner. If I re-enable the activity it's going to be green always and everything's going to start working as you would expect. There's one hidden feature that I think everybody will find very useful. It's primarily built for touch devices and touch screens, uh, where you would basically not find the keyboard shortcuts useful if you don't have a keyboard. So you would pinch your screen inwards or pinch your screen outwards to change modes. Um, unfortunately, I'm recording on the MacBook, so I cannot show you that. But there's also a built-in functionality that mimics that feature on the trackpads. So if you have a trackpad that supports multi-gestures, you can also pinch your trackpad to change mode. Also, it works inwards and outwards, exactly like on the track on the touchscreen. And if you don't have either, but you have a mouse, you can put the video in full screen, press control, use your mouse, and just scroll, you know, forwards or backwards. And it's going to do the same. So that's like one hidden feature that I think everybody will use. Um, now I'm going to show you also a shortcut. Uh, how can you use scaling because it doesn't have a pre-configured shortcuts, but you can always always open the interface with a keyboard. So on Mac is Control Command Period, and here you can see interface and now I can just play with the scaling if I want to tweak the video aspect ratio myself. Uh, it's useful for very large screens or some weird video aspect ratios where you can use one of the modes and in combination use the scaling to you know tweak it just a little bit. So you might want to keep some black bars just not to lose the content but not to keep too many of you know too much of the black bars. So that's uh, also one small nifty feature. And it's important to note if you put the video in full screen and you do not see uh, this banner when you try to change uh, the mode or to pause the extension, it means that the extension was unable to find that video player. So I would highly recommend instead of uh, leaving a negative review uh, on the Chrome Web Store to open up an issue uh, that you can go through here, question mark, you know, open up the onboarding page and you can here find the button that says report issues, click on it and here you can create a new issue uh, but you'll need to find uh, to sign up for a GitHub account which will take less than a minute. So please do it and post as much information as you can. For example, I'm using, um, you know, Windows 11, using Chrome, uh, which version of Chrome, uh, trying to use the Ultra Video on, you know, platform name here, uh, maybe provide me with full URL because it might not work for some specific film or series. And I will try my best to fix it for that platform because the main goal of this extension is to work everywhere. Um, you can also from here go to discussions and knowledge base. Um, but everything is here basically on GitHub. You can also follow the uh, project progress, some future implementations, etc. Um, and that pretty much summarizes everything in less than 10 minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out, uh, clarified some things. And thank you for using Ultra Video.